Hello everyone, my name is Paweł Rymsza and today I will show you how to create a realistic looking hedge as well as rows of flowers. So let's get started. It's actually a pretty simple task, however, keep in mind we also have a built-in hedge here in the library. It's called Laurel Hedge and Leafy Hedge. Those assets are greatly optimized, so they look very good from the distance. However, if you look closer, you can see the low poly count. If you need something which looks very good from the close-up, you will need to use a new tool, which was recently added to the program, which is called a spacing tool. So we go into populate, spacing, and we are simply gonna draw a spline. All right, now we need to add an asset to that spline. So we're gonna go into Megascans library, 3D plants, garden, flowerless, and here you can find a boxwood plant, which we just drop into the box. All right, now we have the assets placed. Now we're gonna click on it choose split and now we can select the assets which we don't need actually we just need a boxwood number nine all the others can be selected and deleted now we have one of those and as you can see it actually looks nice as a decoration of our garden as well however we're gonna create a hedge from it so what we do is we select it go a bit down and here path tension we put at 100 so it's actually at straight lines now we increase the count to 100 assets you can type in higher values and now finally we're gonna increase the random rotation so it doesn't look repetitive and that's it our hedge is done that's all you actually need to do now let's create a second one so we click populate spacing and draw a second line this time it's gonna be flowers so we keep it close all right and flowers you can obviously pick from mega scans however keep in mind we also have some flowers in grass category here we have buttercups which i'm gonna use now I'm just picking it and now so after selection path tension to 100% as well we need to increase the count in, and obviously random rotation those are for sure too big so we need to scale it down quite a lot we're gonna go down to 25% and now it looks good however we need more density so instead of 100 we're gonna type in 500 and now you can see it's a perfect looking row of flowers and our build is done thanks a lot have a great day bye bye